Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Barbell and welcome back to some more Skyrim action. In the last episode, we traveled down to Ancestor Glade in order to read the Blood Elder Scroll and it told us to head to Darkfall Cave in order to retrieve Ariel's bow. We're about a quarter of the way there, currently located at Pinefrost Tower. And I need to travel around this way in order to get there. So let's go ahead and get started on that junk. Now from what I remember of Darkfall Cave, it's pretty much like a gateway to a new world. That's the best way I can describe it. It is not your ordinary cave. You guys will see for yourselves soon enough. But for now, we need to walk there. Or do we? I just realized we have summon Arvac. What you know about this junk? Ugh. What? Now what? Oh, wolf. Ice wolf. Out of all the things it chooses to attack, it <laughs> chose Arvac. The immortal, the immortal ghost horse. Brilliant, Ice Wolf. Serana, you just have to walk. Smell you later. Now, I never really was a big fan of using horses in Skyrim or... Oh, there's more wolves, really? In Skyrim or Oblivion. What are they attacking? Oh, oh shit! Oh, they're death hounds. Help! Serena, okay, you're just gonna stand there. Cool. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Where'd you come from? Uh, uh. Sorry, Arvac. I know I'm zapping you with my lightning, but you obviously just don't care. <laughs> Ah, uh, did she resurrect one of the death towns? Now I can't tell which one is the... You can just stop that right now. Thank you. That's the enemy. Uh. Uh. God damn it. Serana, why do you resurrect these jerks? Kill the real one. Son of a... I blame you. Thank you. Ah, oh, and she resurrects another one just to be a jerk to me. And my voice just cracked again. God damn it. Summon Dernavir. Cool. Forgot I had that. Let's see. It is currently almost 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I went to bed about 10 o'clock and I woke up around 2.30 yet again. For some reason I just can't sleep. My body was like... Yo, dude, you need to wake up. No time to sleep. It is time to make an Elder Scrolls video. The people need the entertainment once again. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Why not? What is this? Uh, now what? God. Who's there? Can I just catch a break, please? Uh, let's get down over here. Reinitiate the armor action. Oh, oh. Oh, hell yeah. Level up, bitch. Oh god. <laughs> Khajiit. <laughs> okay. Um, give me your gold. This dude looks like he's missing his head. Oh, okay. It kind of blended in with that. These plants here. Skeever roasting over an open fire. That seems to be a theme in the Elder Scrolls. Every cave you go in, there's a skeever roasting. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Pulse Keg. Or Darkfall Cave. Hmm. You know what? We've been doing a lot of story missions. Why don't we just explore a cave this time? Why not? Or a burial crypt. Just for something a little different. Just this once, or just this time. I'll do it again later, but why not? I haven't done this in a while. You're kind of facing the wrong way. You need to face this way. Let's see what's going on here, iron door. I'll open your iron door. I'm a badass. Hello, anybody in here? Uh, oh, trap. 
kind of trap. What kind of trap could be here? I don't see a swinging log or spikes. Huh. Well, I'm not. Oh, shit. Well, thanks, Serata. Thanks for answering my question. Okay, nothing else out here. Why do I feel like this is part of a story mission or something? Perhaps part of the go- Ah, shit! Oh, it's a regular bandit. That's a bandit outlaw. I don't know how strong he is exactly. Oh, not very. Let me make sure it is still on legendary. It is. Good. Go give me that junk. <laughs> baked potatoes. Just in his back pocket. Always gotta have baked potatoes handy. You never know when you might need them. Blood here. Is there another trap? Yep, there's a swinging gate right there. Serrano, for the love of Jeebus. Don't activate that when I'm around. Okay, I don't see another pressure plate. I am really nervous about traps. Uh, in part two of my Oblivion Let's Play, which I just started uh, not too long ago, a couple days ago. Uh, the traps in this fort I was in. Oh, god damn it. What are you? Oh, holy man. Do not want. Okay, let's get a little. Uh, where's the thing I favorited before I started recording? Did I favorite it? Uh, no, I didn't. Bone Man. Let's. Oh! And I forgot to select it. Damn it. Let's get a little Bone Man action. I said Bone Man action. Thank you. Uh. Wow, he was dressed like he was the bandit chief. Hopefully we don't have to face a bandit chief here. They're usually pretty tough. Anyway, as I was saying, the trap in the fort in Oblivion. There was no tripwire, there was no pressure plate or anything. You just kind of walk past it. Oh, damn it. And the arrows just automatically fly out and they killed me. In my in the second episode of my let's play, like, come on, man. So now I'm just completely nervous of any traps that may be hidden around here. Uh, which way do we go? No. Outlaw. Which one is different? Highwaymen, I think, are more. Difficult than allies. Open the skills menu to level up. Forgot about that. We'll send him tumbling down this hallway. <laughs> Perfect. And let's go ahead and level up. Get some magicka. Nope. Yeah, let's get some magic action. I've leveled up health, I think, like the past three levels now. Uh, can I level this up? Oh, hell yeah, I can! Let me make sure there's nothing else. This is level 60. Yeah, that ain't happening for a while. That's also level 60. Hmm. And I'm almost there. What were the benefits of that again? So, an, an additional 15% damage and resistance with shock. Uh, or third level of mage armor. Now that's a tough choice. I'll kind of think on it, I guess, while I <laughs> go through here. Skill book? Yes. Wow, lock picking. Great. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. I was so close. There we go. 
And another lockpicking increase. You'd think I was a thief. Uh. There's always oh, she started to say something. To avoid these types of ruins. I think I see why now. Oh no, my bone man. Why? Because there's all kind of awesome loots here? That is not a reason to avoid these places. Magic potions, sweet. Jug. Here you go, you can have that. <laughs> Chest. Gold, another magic potion, sweet. Alright, that was a nice little treasure trove, I guess. Okay, another bandit up here. God! Ugh. My voice today. You wouldn't think I was 21, would you? I don't know, something about it being late. I don't really have the projection in my voice to prevent it from doing that. I don't know. Not like it really matters. Ash pile? Draugr? Whoa! Huh? Ha. Who's there? Get rocked. Oh, that Draugr scared me. I thought it was a bandit sneaking up on me. I like, I like his shield on his hand there. I'm doing my worst. How come my spells are going through the enemies? I've noticed that like three times now. No mercy. Oh, let's try this again. No mercy. <laughs> Double tap that bitch. A single gold piece. Thank you. Iron door. Oh. Oh, what a sneaky, sneaky pressure plate this is. And those traps right there are probably my least favorite. Well, not that I have favorite traps, but the ones I despise the most are the swinging log traps. There's a tower, a Hagraven tower. I don't know where, but I do know that there was a locked door and behind it was one of those swinging log traps. And I was playing one day, I unlocked the door and I charged on through only to get obliterated right in the face by that damn thing. And it set me way back. And ever since then, I've hold, held a grudge against those damn things. Not that they care. But I'm just saying. Okay, I guess there's nothing. Oh, wait. Have I been in here? No. Oh, empty. Why did I open that? Er oh! And I opened the empty one! What? <laughs> okay. Another late night live commentary. Things are getting weird. And I have been in here, so let's go ahead and move forward. Although, there was an area... Oh no, this is the area. Okay, I already went down that way. That's right. Okay. Good, 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 good. I don't know what's going on, but I keep getting these little lag spikes. My frames dip down to like 30. What in the piss? Not sure why. Oh, we gotta avoid this. I don't trust you. Vigorous stamina. This looks like a place. Let's get some Draugr action ready. Just in case. Bear. Fox. Snake. Wolf. Four totems of Wolfskaig. Or Wolfskaig, whatever. All four are bound to the same land as we. Some lay low, consumed in shadow. Others stand tall, stretching their necks to see, while man none live in this sacred barrow. They all demand your attention if you are to proceed. 
The first fears all, the second fears none. The third eats what it can, preferably number one. The fourth fears the second, but only when alone. All must be activated in order if you wish to go home. Okay, Riddler is apparently located in this dungeon somewhere. The first fears all, the second fears none. The first fears all. Ah, okay, that's just uh, fears all, probably the fox. The second fears none. Ah, shat. Oh, you ain't nothing. Just go sleep over there. Second fears none, most likely the bear. I don't know if this means I'm doing them right or not. Where are you? Oh. It's just some sort of weird loot. Coffin. The third, preferably eats number one. The wolf? Let me read that one more time. Am I just looking right over? Did I not even take the book? No, I didn't take the book. Fail. The, f uh, the third eats what it can, preferably number one. The fourth fears the second, but only when alone. That sounds like a... Okay, the third is probably a snake and the fourth is a wolf. Uh. Uh. Yeah, no. Okay, did I do it wrong? Do I need to take this? No? Huh. Let's try that again. The first fears all. The second fears none. That's gotta be the bear. That's the freaking bear. What, what in the hell is a bear afraid of? Oh, did I mix steak and fox? Am I really that dumb? First fears all, the second fears none. Uh, okay. I'm an idiot. Sorry guys, that was probably really frustrating seeing me do that. The third eats what it can, preferably number one. The fourth fears the second, but only one alone. Oh. Let me in. Damn it. I'm not stupid, I swear. It's just really late. Yeah, I'll use that as an excuse. Here we go again with the wonky frame rate. Ah, really? You are a very good Lydia impersonator, Serana. Blocking all the pathways. Man, my... I don't know why. I'm sorry about complaining about my frame rate, but it's really weird. I, it never dips down like this. But it's doing it to me right now for some reason. Usually it's a solid 60. Of course, you record at 30 because that's all YouTube uh, supports. But I play at 60. And it's been dipping down to about 30. What the crap? You guys probably won't notice it in the video, but I do. I always liked Serana's hair for some reason. It's kind of cool hairstyle. All of the whole separation in the middle thing, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about hairstyles. It's actually my armor. Empty. 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 Oh! God! <laughs> Oh, uh, didn't mean to click on that one. A lot of linen wraps. Let's go ahead and hit this. Okay. The point of this is... Oh, there isn't a point. Or is there? Whoops. Oh, shoot. Quick, block the doorway. Ooh, 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 I got a spell for this. I got a spell for this. You're about to get mad, Draugr Scourge. Hopefully he's not coming at me. No, he's not. Get out of the way, Toronto. 
Oh, god damn it. I was about to feel like a total badass. Okay, Serana is fighting the Prostration Arm. Draugr versus Draugr action. I'm just back here as usual being the annoying little pest. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? <laughs> Gold. Mage Light. I don't think I've fought a Death Lord yet, have I? In this Let's Play. Ah, I didn't want the pot. Can I... Okay, you can just stare at me awkwardly while I get rid of this pot, wherever it is. Uh, another trap. Hooray, first try. Scaled armor. Whoa, sweet. Elven arrow, gold. Whoa, filled grand soul gem. Thank you very kindly. Earn. Like this. Too bad. We're advancing anyway. Whoa, don't want to deal with those spikes. Oh, what is this? Don't want to. Oh, it looks like swinging blade trap. Crap. Fire! Oh, we'll let him come to us, I guess. You coming? Try again. <laughs> okay, I guess he's not up here. Damn it. Oh shit! Serana, help! Well, this looks dangerous. Let's hide in the corner here. Actually, quick save. Don't know what the hell could happen here. Come on, knock it. Aha! Adept chest. What be in here? Here! What kind of booty be in here? Common, flawless, gold. Whoa! Gold diamond ring, sweet. Alright, let me out of here. Did you miss me, Serana? No? Well, that's okay. Okay, the dude's gotta be down here. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Where you at, buddy? Hell yeah, I got this. <laughs> now that's a double tap. Oh. There's gotta be more, right? Yeah, there's one. Two. Oh boy. Oh, let's get let's get some flame nature not going. Oh, ow! Hit me, how dare you. Yeah, you jerk. Is this really on Legendary? I gotta check one more time. It is? Okay. I don't know, for some reason I got power shot by that 
Restless Dragon, it didn't do nearly as much as I expected. Not that I'm complaining, but just had to double check. Well, this dude got lit up. That just leads me back. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Serana got destroyed. Everything got destroyed. Serana, my flame major knight, and that dragger she revived. Ow. So for some reason I just realized I was talking about horses much earlier in this episode and how I don't usually like to use them. Come on, Serana. Are you for real? And here she goes again, watch. You're stupid. See, I, I don't know why, I just never really liked using horses. And I guess I'll make that a question of the day, why not? We need one for today, and that is, do you guys like to use horses or not? And if you have a reason why, feel free to share that as well. Oh, crap. Restless and what? Oh, that's a dragger white. Oh, hey, that piddly regular dragger survived the gate trap. Move! I'm trying to kill the other guy. God damn it. Thank you. Uh. Nailed it. Wow, nice view of the wall there. More guys. Empty. Why? Alright, wake up! You jerks. No, uh, no, you can go back to sleep. You too. Don't even bother getting up. Two dudes here. Where did these guys come from? Oh, yeah, I didn't think that was a kill shot. Kill shot. That's a kill shot. You can. Oh, what the? Come on, Serana. Get your. Oh. Look at that action shit. And then he just vaporized in midair because it was too awesome. If you name that kill shot reference, you win. Kill shot. That's a kill shot. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, you're mad. There's another dude coming in. Let's yeah, let's get some flame knock action. I said, oh, here we go again with the. I think I'll invest my perk into the shock spell buff once I get destruction up to level 60. Dark of scourge. Oh shit! He turned on my ass real quick. Oh, that is Serana's revived Dragger White. Thank God he timed out. There's the skirt. Let's get some Bone Man action.
And I'll be honest, I'm kind of enjoying the combat in Oblivion a little more. I think that's because of the class I chose. I chose Spell Sword. And with that character, I'm getting up in my enemy's face. Because, well, that's where the sword part comes in, but I also have magic. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. And I don't have a follower to kind of back me up. So if I get into some shit, it's all me. I kind of like that. Don't get me wrong, this is fun also. It's also fun. Oh, wow. You missed out on the party, buddy. Wow, this burial crypt is larger than I expected. Or should I say it's larger than I expected from a non-story burial crypt dungeon thing. If this is just a crypt for the sake of exploring up. Excuse me. Crap. Which one is the real one? This one. That's what I'm wondering, Serana. I was about to say, is that an ice spike in your wiener, or are you just happy to see me, Draugr? <laughs> I noticed there was a uh, ice spike in that special area. Isn't there a trap here? There is. Another swinging log trap. Great. No! God damn it! What the fuck is wrong with you, Serana? Good God. Quick save that junk. She's out to kill me. Ah, spiders. <laughs> I actually feel sorry for these spiders. They're just getting insta-owned. Oh, they're just lining up to die. Was that chest? No. Oh, there's got to be a giant spider in here somewhere. Where are you all at? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know there is. Where are you at? You can't hide from me. Ah, oh, you jerk. Yep. Up. Oh. oh god, I hate it when they do that shit. That is absolutely Ugh. Uh guys, you're uh There you go. I don't know, something about them when they descend from the ceiling, it freaks me out. Ha! Too fat to fit in here, are you? Goodbye. I don't know about you guys, but if places like this existed where there were giant spiders, I would move as far away as possible. Just saying, don't want anything to do with regular spiders, let alone giant ones. This 
Speaking of giant ones, you know there is a giant spider waiting at the end. Just show yourself and let's get this over with. Okay, I'll be honest here. I don't recognize this burial crypt at all. Oh, that spider can fit in here? I don't know what's here, what's... Purpose... Oh, that's another... It's another log trap. Quick save that junk. Oh, it's hooked up to the chest. Okay. God damn it, this episode's dragging on longer than I wanted it to. That's the thing about this game, you can't really have short episodes. And I kind of want to shorten them a little bit. Ah, uh, there's a dude. For two reasons. One, when episodes are 45 minutes to an hour long. You know, sometimes people don't want to sit there for that long. And second, when they're that long, the file sizes are huge. My internet is the suck. It is the terrible. And a uh, 5 gigabyte file takes about 10 to 12 hours to upload for me. Which sometimes explains why my videos don't come out as often as I'd like them to. Okay, you just take a seat. You too. Oh no! Alright, this has got to be the end. Who's up there? This is, this is a cool looking room though. <clears throat> it's got that little creek flowing through the middle. That's pretty neat. Huh. Huh. Huh? Oh. God damn it. Sorry I keep opening these empty urns. I don't know... What it is, it's, I open first and then I read if it was empty or not. Oh shit, oh, oh jeebus. Death Overlord? Fucking hell. Well, spoiler alert, but later in the Let's Play, I'll eventually have a high enough conjuration to be able to conjure one of these guys. And yes, they also come with the full powered shouts when you conjure them. So that'll be pretty cool. But those are master level conjuration spells, so I'm a little ways off. So far we're not doing too bad, and that's because he's focused on other people and not me. I'm trying to kill it. He's too damn powerful. His power level is clearly over 9,000. Okay, my dragger needs to be resummoned. Oh, sweet. Conjuration level up. How is my destruction not leveled up yet? It was pretty damn close to level 60 last I checked. Ugh. Come on, one more. One more. Yeah! I think that was a headshot too. Ash pile, nothing. What do you have? Ebony sword and gold. Hooray! Did not die. That's good. That's always good. Uh uh uh. Earn. Give me that. Earn. Give me that. Oh, I was gonna sit in this chair. Lost chest. Gold emerald ring. Cool. And you guys may have noticed I don't usually take arrows, even though they weigh nothing. I don't know. I just like don't like them cluttering my inventory if I don't use them. Is that it? Really? Is that it? I don't know. Volsky Peak. Ah, my eye!
guys. Oh, word wall up here. Oh, shit. Well, we might be getting a Dragon Priest mask. Resummon that junk. Oh, yeah, here we go. God damn it. Run. Word of Power Alarm, Fury, Wolverine, Sprint. Where you at? There you are. Oh shit, was that chain lightning? Is he looking at me? No. Why isn't it showing my dude? Did he turn my dragon? No. There's the tail bar. And I need to recharge. Well, I'd say this was a good action-packed episode so far. We got Dragon Priest action. We got Draugr Death Overlord action. We got Enchanting Level Up action. <laughs> Speaking of level up. Yeah, you bang on your shield. Oh, this is a problem. We're outside. Look at my stamina. Look how terrible that is. I must be a really high level vampire right now. Oh, it is level 60. What the hell? Did I miss it leveling up? I am so stupid. Alright, let's get that junk. Holy crap. I bet that frustrated you guys too. Sitting there like, when is my destruction going to level up? And it leveled up about six years ago. Am I doing no damage? Or am I just missing completely? Am I seriously doing no damage? Come on now. There we go. Ow! Fuck! I don't even know what he did. Was that a spell? This is a problem I've experienced with other Dragon Priests. They end up going down the mountainside whenever we fight. Ugh, oh, this is annoying. Ah, there's an ice spike. That's what he hit me with. No. You would think he would have more powerful spells than ice spike. Or maybe I'm just draining all of his magic and he can't use them. <laughs> that is possible. Now, I wonder if I can get my guys down here to fight. Ah, stop that. Come on, I need someone. Oh, shit. Am I gonna walk into that? Not summoning them down here. Ah. Ah. Where is it summoning my dudes? Oh, I guess it's a one on one fight. Oh, that was close. Whip out the staff. Don't you roar at me. Uh, 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 uh. That one went right through him. Whoa. For all I know, I might just cut. I might just cut to where I finally kill him because nothing interesting is going to happen between now and then. All right, guys, this guy is about dead. This chump, this jerk. Oh, I'm gonna steal your mask, bro. I'm gonna steal it, it's mine. Come on, uh. Yeah, die. That took forever. And nothing interesting happened at all. It's just me draining his magicka and then zapping him. Whoa, that's worth it a lot. Prices are 20% better, carry 20 points more, and can breathe underwater. 
Kind of a weird combination there. Well, I guess the carry weight and the prices go together, but the breathe underwater thing is kind of wonky. All right. I got the word, right? Yes, I did. And where are we? Didn't make much headway, but I figured we'd do a little... Come on, give me the world map. World map, thank you. We're about halfway there now. Halfway there now, I think I just said that. And, uh, like I said, didn't make much progress, but I figured we'd do a little dungeon exploring for once. We've been doing a lot of story missions, so there we go. That was full sky for you. I don't know if it had a story association or not, but I didn't see one. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Huh. Oh, stupid re <laughs> resurrected bandit. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you all in the next one for some more Skyrim action where we will make it to Darkfall Cave and see what that cave is all about. It is full of spiders and mystery. So take care, everybody. Bye. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention, stick around for the comment shoutouts of the day if you would like to. Just throwing that out there. I'll be giving shoutouts for part 38 and 39 because I missed part 38. So there you go. Stick around for the comment shoutouts, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Skyrim. Take care, everybody. Bye. And welcome everybody to the comment shoutouts of the day segment for this Skyrim episode. Thank you very much for sticking around. And I apologize there was no shoutout in the last episode. I just forgot for some reason. I guess I was tired or something, but that's no excuse. So this comment shoutout segment will include comments from parts 38 and 39. So let's go ahead and get this started. The first comment shoutout goes to Frosty Khajiit. And he says, I stayed home on Halloween and I don't use Twitter, and a question for my new favorite YouTuber, thank you by the way, are you going to keep using the Archmage armor or enchant some armor? Well, the Archmage robes are pretty useful for me right now, but as I get to a higher level of destruction, probably level 75, I'll check out the expert level destruction robes and see which one might be more useful, but I have a feeling that the master level destruction robes will be more useful than the Archmage robes, but for now I'll stick with the Archmage robes, and as far as enchanting goes, I'll still enchant things like necklaces, rings, and gloves when I get my enchanting higher, so they'll, you know, be more useful. But I won't enchant any armor. I will be sticking with the mage armor perk, which requires me to wear only clothing and robes. So, no armor. But yeah, that's the plan for now. I don't really change my equipment too much, but it'll change here and there eventually. But thank you very much for commenting. And the second comment shoutout goes to SkinnyCam613. And he asks, hey, could you play games like Assassin's Creed 4 and Batman Arkham Origins? Um, I've looked at those games, but I don't really think they're things I would enjoy. I haven't played any of the Batman Arkham games, and I haven't really had any interest in playing them. And I only played Assassin's Creed, the first Assassin's Creed game, and I didn't really enjoy that much either. I didn't even complete it. It just wasn't for me. And on top of that, Batman Arkham Origins is $50, and... Assassin's Creed 4 is pre-ordering for $60. So that is kind of expensive for games that I don't think I would enjoy. And if I do play the games that I don't enjoy, I believe that'll show in my commentary and gameplay. And then nobody has fun watching the videos and everybody loses. So I don't think I'll be doing that. But a game I am considering doing a Let's Play of is The Walking Dead. Um, because the Season 2 Walking Dead game is coming out at some point this year. And I don't know, I thought that might be something interesting. I It's definitely not set in stone yet, I'm just considering it. And uh, if anyone is still listening to me ramble on and you have an opinion on me possibly playing The Walking Dead, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you think. But yeah, I'm just considering it for now. We shall see. But yeah, thank you very much for asking. And the third comment shoutout goes to Fanbot01. This is from part 39. And I notice you comment on a lot of my videos. I really do appreciate that. It's a shame that your avatar is not the one that I recognize now, thanks to Google Plus kind of taking over the comment section. But I do recognize your name. Thank you very much for commenting. And he says, oh, excuse me. I never played Dawn Guard as a vampire, so I never had a problem with Dexion. Google Plus sucks major monkey balls, and it's sad that it's being forced on us like cod liver oil in a Little Rascals episode. Yes, I agree. It does suck that it's being forced on us, but I'll try not to rant about that anymore. Um, everyone knows it sucks. I better, I might as well just, you know, stop talking about it because there's nothing I can do. Nothing any of us can do, but just sit around and wait for it to be fixed, I suppose. But yeah, it does suck. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you very much for commenting. I noticed you comment on a lot of stuff and I appreciate it. And the next comment shout out also goes to a fre frequent commenter. This is Notorious TJF once again. And he says, I already had a Google Plus account from years ago 
when I thought it might become a thing, so it's not been too annoying for me. Well, looks like you're ahead of the game there, pal. Uh, I do think it's pretty sucky that they are forcing it, though. Like, the only way they can comp compete with Twitter slash Facebook is to use YouTube's popularity. Yeah, I agree. And he also says, and I've noticed from your videos that your standardized length for exaggerated time is six years. That was very well put. And yes, I don't know. I don't know where that came from. This was a couple of years ago. I just randomly started saying six years for random stuff and it just kind of stuck. I don't know. A few friends and I on Steam use it all the time and I don't know why. It's just, just one of those funny things that you kind of start saying and you can't really explain it. And he also says, no comment shout out of the day. Yes, I forgot. I apologize, but I'm making up for it now by doing, I guess, two comment shoutout segments in one. So hopefully you guys can forgive me for that. And that's it for the comment shoutout segment of the day. Thank you very much for sticking around and listening to me ramble on about all kinds of junk. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the Skyrim episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.